I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Okay, so I was wrong. I'm going to do one more short, very short part of uh, 4, 4D four here, because I'd forgotten about a really important paper I wanted to present, and I looked at it, presenting it later, uh, it just would, it's not going to fit in very well later on, because I was talking in this section about the battle of the sexes, about intersexual selection, about cryptic female choice, about how each sex is attempting to maximize its reproductive potential. Okay, so I talked about how, um, okay, remember females, we, we learned that females have a lot of control, even though they may mate with several males, that they actually have some control over who fertilizes their eggs um, through a m many different mechanisms. Um, well, I found a, a, a... Now, remember, males are always working or try to work around that, okay? You know, just kind of... I picture... I guess the mental image is, you know, picture, you know, I, I don't know, teenagers on a date, you know, the, the lines that one uses and the rebuffs the female comes up with or these kinds of... You know, it's kind of a way... The mental image that comes to mind. Um, but one I found that was fascinating, this is Ryman et al. have a paper... Um, and I'll put I'll put in in this what I'll add add this to the description on the common house fly Musca domesticata you know the common house fly um, are probably our longest and dearest companion as as a species believe it or not um, they have this fascinating okay, again the female house flies um, will tend to promiscuously mate okay they, they're capable of promiscuously mating. And because of their sperm storage mechanisms, the potential for choosing which male um, gets them uh, is, is, is potentially high. So it's been found that the male has a chemical in his seminal fluid, the male housefly, that actually enters the bloodstream of the female through the vaginal canal, right through the wall, okay, goes into her bloodstream, goes into her brain, and makes her non-respect non non-responsive to sex altogether. It turns off her sex drive. She's will evade and attempt to escape any other male that comes near her. It takes about ten minutes to take effect. Um, so the male will attempt to guard her for that ten minutes. If he's not successful and another male gets to her first, then she has the choice. Okay. So think about that. So he actually impregnates the female. And then, after copulation, guards her while this chemical agent turns off her sex drive. How's that for a sneaky way around it? Anyway, I wanted to include that because I think it's pretty cool. And again, I'll put this up in the description. I'll put the link up there. So um, if you guys are interested in, in that paper, it's, it's interlibrary loaded. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff. All right. Thanks.